couldn't get us off your mind, could you? Ah, you're lucky, sister. Should I be jealous? At least you have good taste. If your beloved one wants to join, we could work out something to our mutual satisfaction. Two of us? Two of you? Four gorgeous people. There's an idea. If you're comfortable sharing, so am I. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Let's go. This is thrilling. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. You know, I had a dream just like this once. I'm surprised you needed the two of us for this to happen, but I am so glad it has. Oh, Empyrean High Priestess, let us worship at your altar. The drow siblings fall to their knees in mock prayer towards Shadowheart lavishing caresses over her thighs. I can compromise just this once. The night skips on, filled with fantasies Shadowheart seemed all too primed to suggest. Give me a moment, for pity's sake. You've exhausted me already. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. <laughs> 